Tired of feeling like you're on autopilot, just going through the motions? You wake up, scroll through social media, binge watch shows, and before you know it, the day is over without accomplishing anything meaningful. If this sounds like you, then this video is for you. Today we're talking about dopamine detoxing. Now, don't get me wrong, dopamine detoxing can be a powerful tool, but it's not a magic pill. A lot of people treat dopamine detoxing like a quick fix, a magic that will instantly transform them. But it doesn't work that way. Sure, you can challenge yourself to go phone free for a week, but if you don't address the underlying issues, you'll likely fall back into old habits. I tried a dopamine detox myself. I went cold turkey on social media games and even TV. For a week, I felt like a monk. But the moment that week was over, I was back to my old habits, scrolling mindlessly and procrastinating on everything. So, I decided to dig deeper. I wanted to create a sustainable, long-term solution, not just a quick fix. That's when I developed my own dopamine detox protocol, designed to help you break free from addiction, build focus, and achieve your goals. And it's three steps and you must do each in order to have a successful dopamine detox. Step one, identify your triggers. Understanding your enemies is the first step to defeating them. This means pinpointing the specific activities, apps, or even people that send your dopamine levels soaring. It could be endless scrolling on social media, binge watching shows, or even the anticipation of notifications. Use a digital well-being tracker. Most smartphones offer built-in tools to monitor your screen time. Utilize these to identify which apps consume the most of your attention. Keep a journal. For a week, jot down instances when you feel particularly drawn to your phone or other distractions. Look for patterns in your behavior. Be honest with yourself. Don't shy away from acknowledging your weaknesses. The more honest you are, the better equipped you'll be to address the problem. Step 2. Rebuild your reward system. Our brains are wired for rewards. When we cut out instant gratification, we need to find new ways to feel good. This doesn't mean replacing one addiction with another. It's about discovering intrinsic rewards. Instead of relying on external validation, focus on building a strong sense of self-worth. Prioritize meaningful activities, engage in hobbies, spend time in nature, or learn a new skill. These activities can provide a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment without relying on external validation. Practice delayed gratification. Challenge yourself to resist immediate rewards. This teaches your brain that there is value in waiting for something worthwhile. For example, instead of checking your phone as soon as you wake up, meditate or journal for a few minutes first. Celebrate small wins. Acknowledge your progress, no matter how small. This positive reinforcement can help you stay motivated. Step 3. Cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness is the cornerstone of a successful dopamine detox. It involves being present in the moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. By cultivating mindfulness, you'll gain greater control over your impulses and cravings. Meditation and deep breathing. These practices can help calm your mind and reduce stress. Yoga and gym. These physical activities incorporate mindfulness and can help you connect with your body. Spending time in nature. Immersing yourself in the natural world can help you disconnect from technology and appreciate the present moment. Remember, dopamine detoxing isn't about deprivation, it's about balance. It's about reclaiming your time and attention and using it to build a life you love. And if you're still facing the problem to improving yourself, then you probably don't know the art of continuous improvement. I've already discussed in this video how you can master the art of continuous improvement. So check it out after this one. See you there.